Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. And we're going to wind back the clock to 2022 because we're going to be taking a look at Eric Jones's 2022 Focus Factor Southern 500 winning Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Richard Petty Motorsports or GMS, Petty GMS. I should be saying sometimes I still just call it Richard Petty Motorsports. But this is a really cool diecast because this right here is his second Southern 500 victory. So Darlington being one of Eric Jones' better tracks, doesn't surprise me he was eventually going to get a second Southern 500. But to see it with RPM, or now Legacy Motorsports, Le Legacy Motorsports, Legacy Motor Club, uh, back then of course when he won it was Petty GMS, to see that team win at Darlington. That is a huge accomplishment, and that tells you how much talent Eric Jones has uh, as a driver, if you just give him good equipment. I'm telling you, if he would have stayed at Joe Gibbs Racing, or if they would have kept him, he definitely would have gotten his second Southern 500 with them, and a couple other wins, uh, if they just gave him a chance, which did not happen, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, in terms of this die cast, that's what we're going to be focusing on. We've already looked at the Focus Factor car and that Kyle Larson, Hendrick, uh, Cars.com and Eric Jones Focus Factor diecast review that I did at, in a collaboration with um, Action 46 Network. So we're not going to be taking a look at the paint scheme. We're more going to look at the race version details because that's what this car, the main focus of it, should be. Get it? The main focus, Focus Factor. So let's turn on our Focus Factor and get this diecast review out of the box and reviewed. So yeah, this is another race version. Uh, I usually don't review that that much race versions, but I got this one because Eric Jones is part of my favorite drivers list, so I should be getting it, right? Here it is out of the box, and oh man, the confetti cannon they did on this car, the confetti job. Holy cow, it's fantastic. And once again, the 2022s seem to be Better rolling cars than the 2023 die cast for some reason. I don't know if it's because these are shipping better or the new box. There's a new box design. I have to figure out why that's happening. But this one rolls good. Too bad I'm never going to race it. Uh, but yeah, this die cast right here is really, really cool. The Southern 500 for Eric Jones. And so now we're going to get this die cast review on. We'll still look at the sponsors and stuff. But we're going to be mainly looking at the race version detail. Uh, we're just going to start off with sponsors first. So you got number 43, Petty GMS. You have Focus Factor, which it looks like it just says Folk Factor because half of it is cut off by the confetti. You got Chevrolet Jones right there. You have Sunoco Goodyear. Of course, the yellow Goodyear wheels. NASCAR Cup Series number 43, and it looks like we have a name. Uh, let's try to get this name right. Uh, let's zoom in on it so that we can see it better. You know, what? I'm going to keep the camera like this the whole video. Claire Rutin. I really hope I got that name right. We've got Goodyear, Snoko Goodyear NASCAR Cup Series 43. Got Mac Tools, STP, and is that Columbia Sportswear? Are they still sponsored? Or is that a different sponsor? It's just hard for me to read. Uh, you have Safety Clean Champion, which is a partner with GMS. You have what does that say? Damn, I really cannot read that. Let's see if I can zoom in more. Superior SX. SX. You have Focus Factor Nutrition for the Brain. You have US Air Force. Here's the back of it. And believe it or not, you've got a blue spoiler on this car. Except the front part of it is the front part of it is black. The back part of it is blue. Quite interesting how they, they wrap that on there. Got Chevrolet. Is that a blue rear view camera? Or is that just the way it wrapped over? Because if that's a blue rear view camera, that is really cool. And I just noticed something. I'm not sure if this is a defect. It probably is. But look at the stripe on this paint scheme. You see how it has like a light blue right there? Usually this paint scheme has light blue on the corners of this back design. There is no decal for that on this side. So is that accurate to the real life race version? You never know with Lino Racing. We'll just put it like that. You never know what's supposed to be correct and what isn't. So maybe that's, I don't know, I really hope that's not a defect. I paid money for this car. Uh, you got Chevrolet, the rear view camera, 43, Petty GMS, Camaro ZL1. Of course, Focus Factory Nutrition for the Brain. You got nothing on the deck lid. They didn't have anything on the deck lid. That's quite interesting. You got Jones and, of course, the 43, which you can barely tell what it is uh, because it's covered up unless you know it's the 43. 
And now it's time for the raced version detail. Like I said, if you want to see the paint scheme review, you can go back to that video on Action 46 Network where me and me and uh, Action 46 reviewed that car. So we're going to start with the front right here. We have a black uh, splitter, no wrap underneath it to make it look carbon. It's just paint. And of course, a black and blue spoiler, I guess you could say. Uh, it's going to start out with... So here's the main color scheme for the confetti. It looks to be that we have red, white, and yellow for the cookout uh, sponsorship. So that's pretty cool to see the, the confetti matching that. Uh, so you got some confetti caked up on the splitter a little bit more on this side compared to the other side. Looking at it on the camera on my right side, you got more confetti. If you look at it from like this, this would be the right, the uh, left side. So Eric's left from the driver's seat. So I'll just point out this side and that side. It's kind of hard to like differentiate that sometimes. But you got more confetti on this side compared to this side there's a little bit less but there's still quite a bit of confetti on the splitter either way and i don't really see any carbon texture to the splitter maybe it's because it's covered up by the confetti but it wouldn't surprise me if you got some carbon texture there as well got a lot of tire build up on the front of this thing really really nice to see all that so both sides are pretty caked up with that tire wear that tire debris in the front of this thing of course you can barely see the Petty GMS because that's covered up, but the 43 is still somewhat visible. But the tire buildup is all on the front of this thing, uh, including on top of the blue. You have those two arrow indicators on the grill, some confetti caked up on the grill, and it's a fully detailed grill. It's not like a normal die cast where they just put the grill decal for the Chevy and that's all they do. They actually put the grill texture because it's a race version. Uh, for you new viewers out there, that's what they usually do. Got a bit of silver. I'm pretty sure that's a piece of confetti as well. But yeah, I got some confetti on the grill since they can no longer use competitive grill tape. Doesn't look to be any damage on the nose. Like the Chevy logos and the headlights look pretty straight. So it was a pretty clean race between him and Denny Hamlin. That was pretty fun to watch. Here's the hood. Of course, you got the hood vents. You got some more tire buildup on the hood. Some on the wheel wells as, as also. And of course, you're going to have... All the confetti caked up towards Eric's Eric's left with all that confetti right there. Is there black confetti as well? I think black as well. So there's also black confetti on top. So that add that to the color scheme. Beautiful to see all that confetti just covering up that focus factor. For some reason, Eric Jones has a lot of confetti on his race versions. Uh, you guys remember that uh, his first career win at Joe Gibbs Racing was like the Coke 400 and it was like the Toyota Camry. And it had all that confetti with a giant piece of tape in the back. That was a cool die cast. Got all that confetti on the hood right there. Confetti on the roof, which there's some of that cardboard cutout stuff. Uh, that's why it's there's no confetti on these parts of the roof right there. But the rest is covered up in that cool looking confetti. And of course, we're going to look at the deck lid, which has the confetti as well. And that's pretty much the upper half. There's more confetti on this part of the uh, hood and then this part of the uh, roof compared to the deck lid. It's just kind of sprinkled on the deck lid. And now we're going to look at these, since there's two sides that are different, we're going to look at the right side first. So, of course, you got that tire debris on the front. Of course, some a little more tire debris on the front corners than on the wheel well, but it's definitely some tire wear there as well. Got some scuffs and scratches right by that safety clean right there. You got some burn marks on the wheel wells. Doesn't look like he has any scratches from hitting the wall. So pretty clean. He might have some right here because the walls at Darlington are white and red. So you're probably going to get some like pinkish looking scrapes. I see a little bit of like a scrape. So maybe he got it with this side. But not so much with the right rear. But there's definitely some burn marks there. That probably came from the burnout. Of course, you got some more tire wear on the focus factor right there. Got some more uh, debris on the rear quarter panel. Got some like stuff that looks like hair. I hope that's not actual hair. I hope that's actually stuff from the race. Uh, the race version detail, that is. Of course, you got a more detailed exhaust port and air vent than on the actual uh, die casts. You have the pit arrow indicator so they know where to lift them up. And of course, you got some confetti caked across the bottom half right here. Got some paint chipping off right there. That's pretty unfortunate. A uh, wrap chipping off. You have some confetti kind of by that piece of the side window right there. Like it's very close to it, but it's not a lot of confetti. You got some confetti caked up on the hips. That's because the hips are kind of flat on the top. That's another spot for the confetti to land on, which is 
gorgeous to see that on the race version. Uh, confetti on the hips of the car. Uh, of course, you got the some confetti sprinkled throughout the side pillars. Got a piece of confetti on the cup logo. Of course, all those scratch marks and race wear detail. And of course, the where the confetti sat on the hips. Really, really awful, terrible decal uh, split right there. That's sad. Uh, yeah, that, that's terrible. I, I'm, I'm so mad that happened. Uh, but anyways, here's the back of it with that missing strike. Please tell me if that's accurate. You got the, um, some more tire debris back here on the bumper. You have a little scratch on the bumper as well. Looks like a little ding mark on the MA, on the Camaro underneath the MA. Of course, you have the little, uh, some drippage? Or is that an actual crinkled fender? Because I do know for a fact that when they put the fuel in these cars, the fuel just drips. But it would be more on this side, right? Yeah, see? It's a little bit of drippage. So maybe this is a crinkled part of the car. Maybe he got in, uh, someone got into him. I don't remember every detail of him winning, but I did watch the race, and I still don't remember how this happened. But that looks to be like some, maybe that's a crinkle on the car, or is actually somehow fuel got to the back of this thing dripping as well. Uh, you know, crazy stuff happens on pit road. Anyways, you have the full uh, blue spoiler up there, which is accurate. The spoiler size, I don't think is accurate. I'm pretty sure they ran the small spoiler, so Lionel needs to get this stuff fixed with the spoiler size. Uh, but as for the rest of the car, uh, here's the left side of this car. You have the, as I mentioned before, the drippage of the uh, fuel, the ethanol stains. Right by the American ethanol logo, so they stick the fuel in there, and sometimes it just drips down because they're doing it so fast. It's dripped all over the U.S. Air Force. And, of course, you got some more uh, tire debris on the side of this thing. A uh, bit more scattered on this side. There's not really that much damage on this side of the car. Just a little bit of tire wear by the Safety Clean and the Champion logos right there. I uh, got some tire debris on the Focus Factor. Uh, not as much as the other side though the other side you can really tell and as I mentioned in other videos when you have a bright background color the tire debris and the tire wear is really going to show a lot more uh, because you can definitely see more when the color is bright when it's a dark color you really can't see it uh, for instance looking back at the front uh, green is a brighter color than dark blue so that's why you can see it more on the green so whenever you have a paint scheme that's bright Especially the Menards cars. When those cars win races, you can really see the tire on those cars. But of course, you got some of that on the side skirts. You have the arrow indicator on this side. Of course, the more realistic looking uh, side part of the underbody. Of course, this side's a lot more cleaner. I mean, you do have the confetti still. It's still a bit caked up on the side pillars of the window. And it's caked up on the hips of this car once again. Beautiful to see that. Just a beautiful race version. Uh, you got some damage here and there. You got some tire debris. You have some a lot of confetti. This thing has it all, guys. That's why this is such a good race version. There's a lot of good race versions. The Harvick one was beautiful as well. I'm contemplating whether or not I should get that Richmond win. Yeah, these race versions are pretty fun. So if you guys want to see more of these, definitely let me know if you want more race versions. Except it's going to be more money that I have to pay. But, you know, if you guys are going to watch it, it'll be worth it. Uh, but yeah, this side's definitely more cleaner. You might have some more like scraps and scratches and scrapes down there as well by the underbody. But yeah, uh, more clean on this side. This side definitely got the worst of it when it came to the race details. Like you can see like really all over the focus factor right there. Just there's a lot going on with this race version. A lot of confetti and all that stuff. Really, really cool. Uh, paint scheme is pretty cool with the race version as well. Cool to see focus factor get the win. I didn't think I would see this paint scheme in victory lane, and here we are with this die cast in front of us of Eric Jones winning a second Southern 500 race. And of course, Eric Jones' name as well has got some stuff on it. Yeah, really, really cool die cast right here. Eric Jones fans are always going to want to have this die cast here. They're going to definitely be looking for any... Here's the frustrating thing, though, and I'll do the 360 view. We got this Southern 500... But we didn't get his first Southern 500 from 2019. The Sports Clips throwback to himself, his old late model. We never got the, the uh, throwback for that. That's really upsetting because I really wish I had the full collection of all of Eric Jones' wins. And we could have had both Southern 500s. We literally can only get that car exclusively custom made or only in the 124, which is really unfortunate. Anyways, here's the front of the car. A lot of beautiful race version uh, stuff to see there. 
10. This has got to be a really underrated die cast. I got to see how the sales for this one does because, I mean, look at that. As I always say, you can you can hang that up in a freaking restaurant, man. There's a, there's a fun fact. I always bring that up because we have a restaurant around here in North Carolina called Lancaster's. And they have like a whole bunch of like raced up like hoods and stuff. That's kind of what this reminds me of, of seeing these race versions. You can hang up parts of the car and display them at a restaurant or something. Even Lionel Racing has bits of sheet metal displayed. So yeah, it's always cool to have race version stuff like this because I definitely can't afford to buy sheet metal to hang up in my room. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really cool die cast. You know, people collect the uh, parts of these cars. You know, Hendrick Motorsports are selling hips and thighs and, and fenders of cars. So that's really, really cool to see uh, that they're selling parts of these cars uh, to uh, in their shops. I hope they didn't cut this one up. I hope this goes in like some sort of like a uh, museum or something because this is a cool, cool, beautiful race version right here. I can imagine the 124. This is going to be awesome to have. I don't collect the 124s, but for those of you who are getting it, looks like you guys are going to get a pretty cool die cast because I'm assuming on the 124, you would also get confetti on the window as well instead of just a plain window. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... It does look funky without having the confetti on the windshield, uh, but this car definitely probably would have that on there, especially the Denny Hamlin Coke 600. That thing is caked. But here is this car right here, the Eric Jones Southern 500 win from 2022. Really cool to see this team get see this team get back in victory lane. Man, if, if only that race was before the playoffs, he would have gotten in. But I, I always say that to this day. 2022 Camaro uh, used under license. The ZL1 Camaro used under license. EL. Pretty much the type of stuff you usually get on the underbody. And there's another sticker on this side. Uh, let me see that one. Some sticker there. I can't really, really can't read what that says. That's why you really got to look at both sides of the car so you don't miss anything. Definitely can't read that. Probably some sort of other name on there. Too bad I can't read it. If I had the 124s of some of these, I could probably read them better. But yeah, guys, pretty cool Eric Jones uh, race version diecast here. What do you guys think of it? We'll definitely leave your opinions, your comments, and all that in the comment section of this video. What you guys think of this diecast right here of Eric Jones. A really, really cool Southern 500 win. It's cool to have a Darlington race version diecast. So awesome to get these. So Because Darlington is such a great racetrack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecast.